waiting for anyway? Uh, nothing. Just something to do. Why don't you read a book? I can't make mud with a book. <laughs> mud? We're playing commandos. We're putting the mud on our faces for camouflage. No mud. Oh, man. <laughs> wait a second, wait a second. You really want your faces dirty? Yeah. Okay, come here. All right, take a sharp right. All right, watch out for pedestrians and the refrigerator. Got it, Dad. Beep, beep. Hey, guys. Dad. What, are you giving each other facials? No, we're playing commandos. What, are you attacking a beauty salon or something? <laughs> Hi, Annie. The auto parts god. Gear shift has shined on me. I found this day at the junkyard. Oh. <laughs> That's my woman. Woman, watch your man weld. Fire, metal, heat. Oh, ah, oh ah. Tim, look out for the... pottery <laughs> wheel. Oh, that had to hurt. Try it. Tell me what you think. Uh, Mark, I think maybe you should go play commandos with your big bros. Wow, cool. What's the store in the garage? I thought we wanted to put it in the basement. Well, we were, but I can't work down there. Oh, come on. Be quiet. Kids won't go down there. Uh, it's damp and they're... <laughs> well, I'll get you a sponge and an anteater or something. Now, look, my pottery teacher said that I should work where the creative energy feels the strongest. And since Paris is out of the question, I picked the garage and I really like it. Well, I, I, I don't think it's creative energy or such. This is grease energy. It's, it's man energy. It's, well, it's tough. Even for a woman like you, this would suck the estrogen right out of you, honey. <laughs> What you really mean is that it's your garage and I don't belong here. What I really mean is it's our garage and you don't belong out here. Yeah, I see. Now, didn't we agree to put this in the basement, huh? Okay. You got it. Move it. Great. Get the door for me. All right. How many guys brought this in here? Just one little skinny guy. your back. You need to lift with your legs. Is that what he did? No, he had a forklift. Oh. Look, your area is way over there. Mine is way over here. If I bother you, you can just tell me and I'll leave. Good. Joe? What? You're bothering me. <laughs> I'm kidding. We'll share the garage. Good. I was just concerned about your safety. I got to put on the steering box today. And you know what that means? Welding. Sparks, heat, noise, sweat. Wow, we should have welded on our honeymoon. <laughs> Once you've installed your drawer, it's always a good idea to slide her in a couple times. Uh, oh, wow. <laughs> Just to make sure it's seated properly on the track. You can always be confident now because the stop will prevent the drawer. Oh, jeez, Al. Thanks, Warren. Al, you didn't, you didn't get the stop in there. I believe that was your job, Tim. Al, I believe you're my assistant. You're supposed to check up my work, right? That's what a good assistant does, right, Al? A good assistant does a lot more than that, Tim. You're right, Al. And that's why Al and I plan these minor slip-ups to demonstrate the importance of how a good assistant can prevent accidents like this. Isn't that right, Al? I don't think so, Tim. <laughs> I think what Al means is if you're not careful and watch your step, you can screw up just like Al did. <laughs> Tool time tip, don't be like Al. <laughs> See you next time, everybody. Hi, guys. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Al. Al? What's the matter, Allie? Mm -hmm. Ah, women troubles again, huh? Come on, tell me. What's the matter? If you don't know, I'm not going to tell you. Well, if you won't tell me, how do I know? Tim, you embarrassed me today. Oh, that's no big deal. I always embarrass you. <laughs> hey, the audience knows I'm kidding around. 
I've gotten used to the fact that you don't respect me. That's not true. But sometimes your constant clowning is a, a, a mockery of home improvement. A mockery? <laughs> yes. And sometimes it's just a, a little more than I can bear. Oh, come on, Al. You're not gonna cry, are you? I might. I take my work seriously. All you do is crack jokes. Crack jokes? Well, the way you bend over like that, it's... Well, you see, now that's, that's what I'm talking about. Al, this show's part of entertainment. It takes a lot of skill to entertain the audience while we do our projects. Anyone can do what you do. Oh, really? Do you think you can do what I do? Oh, please. How hard can it be to tell bad jokes and screw up all the time? <laughs> A lot harder than it looks. <laughs> that isn't all that you think I do, do you? Yes. And so do most of your viewers. Hey, I, I got an idea, Al. This is one you're gonna like. Next time, why don't you try to host the show and I'll try to be the assistant. You really mean that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll call it tool time with Al. I take my job seriously, Borland. Fine. 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 Hi. Oh, man. Where'd everybody go? <laughs> Guess I have to do that welding all by myself. Oh, that's a thirsty job. I'll get a big drink of water before I go back out to the garage. Do I do you surrender or more scores here? You're not allowed to spill water in the house. Yeah, we're gonna tell mom. Ooh, Commando's gonna tell his mommy. Yeah, you're gonna get in real big trouble. Oh, am I? My word against yours? Who do you think she's gonna believe? Then what you oh stop squirting. Get some towels and clean this up. Oh, I don't know where they get this. I do. Honey, honey, up. honey, honey, honey. All right, all right, all right, I'm a prisoner. Do what you will to me. Over and over. <laughs> Let's face it, Tim, with you, once it's over, it's over. <laughs> Come here. I want to show you something. Ta-da! What do you think? <laughs> oh, whatever it is, it's one of the finest examples I've ever seen. No, no, it's a bowl. No, Jill, it's so much more than that. <laughs> now, come on, this is not as easy as it looks. This is the first thing I've gotten to stay standing up. I'm so proud of it. What's that smell? Oh, um, it's some lavender potpourri. <laughs> lavender potpourri. This is the garage at the Liberace Museum. <laughs> Just go back to your hot rod and shut up. Jill, I can't work with this noise. How can you call that noise? That's a proctology exam. Hey, come on. Honey, honey. Ooh, ixnay, ixnay. You remember you promised if you were bothering me, you'd leave? I am not bothering you. Yes, you are. Well, don't be silly. I'm not. If I say you're bothering me, you're bothering well, me. Well, then you leave. I'm building my hot rod out here. Oh, and I'm just playing with clay. Yeah, well... Oh, so no. your stuff is more important than my stuff. No. No, but at least it's garagey stuff. You know, it's cars, it's tools, it's grease. It's not this little artsy... Oh. <laughs> hey, I can fix it. You can... Hey, look at that. do this to you again? I can't tell you. Randy told me not to. Mm -hmm. Don't untie me, Mom. 
I'm a prisoner. It's the only way they'll let me play with them. Jill, I fixed the pot. <laughs> You're not the only genius in the family. Thanks. Well, it's not perfect, but it's pretty close to the original. <laughs> Did you break a pot, too? He's escaped! Book it! Hey, come back here! Randy, did you do this to him? The truth. Well, I tied him up when Brad put him in the closet. Hey, she didn't ask anything about me. Now untie him. Come on, Mark. I didn't tell on you. She found me. Jill, what is this? This is a garage used timetable. Since we can't share the garage together, I thought we should share it separately. Honey, I don't have any time on there. I gave you plenty of spaces. Oh, I like between two and three on Tuesdays. I work. Oh, that's right. Well, I'll just take that space, too. <laughs> I love this between 12 and 6 a.m. That's when we sleep together. Now you're catching on, big boy. <laughs> I should have never let you into my garage in the first place. Aha! Uh -huh. Your garage! The truth comes out. Honey, you know what I mean. I got the hot rod here. I got my tool bench. I've already given you a place for the, the wash machines. I guess I should be grateful that you let me come into your garage to do your laundry. What I'm trying to get at is this is a man's zone. Where is the woman's zone, Tim? All I got is a garage. You got the whole rest of the damn house. To do what? Clean? No. Knit, so cook, vacuum. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Ow! So am I. And now, Bimper Tools is proud to present Tool Time! With its very special guest host, Al the Tool Man Borland! <laughs> Welcome to Tool Time, the show with more power. Or, uh, you all know my guest assistant, Tim, the assistant man, Taylor. Tim and I are going to be showing you today the proper method of installing uh, decorative molding around the interior of a doorway. Thank you, Lisa. Just <laughs> Al. Uh, Tim. Do you suppose if Little Miss Muffet went through there, instead of a doorway, they'd call it a curgeon way? <laughs> I don't think so, Al. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> That's Al. I take my job seriously, Borland. <laughs> okay, so uh, the most common decorative molding are the casings, which go around the doors and windows, and the uh, baseboards. Thank you, Tim. Which go on the uh, uh, the they go bottom bottom of the walls. <laughs> And the crown molding, which, of course, go up on... Oh, the... Can I assist you with that, Al? Uh, no, thank you, Tim. We could use a staple gun right to your Adam's apple, Al. And, you know, uh, speaking of staple guns, the, uh, do, you, do you suppose that they call it a staple gun because it shoots out staples? <laughs> yes, I do, Al. Well, I... I agree, Tim. Uh, all right, uh, first off, we're going to get to our, our miter box here. <clears throat> uh, uh, so, But first, I would like to get something off my chest. That tie? <laughs> uh, I, I'm, just, I'm just a little bit cheesed here. The, uh, the other day, I was in the supermarket, and I... I was in the frozen food section, and they had lima beans, three for a dollar, and, and I took four. And, and the lady at the checkout counter said, hey, 
Can't you count? <laughs> Women, huh? Are you with me on this? Are you hot? Al, I got a little trouble with your pressure back here. Al! I hope we didn't scare anybody just then, but it was Al's idea to stage a, a little disaster like this to, to demonstrate the importance of keeping your concentration at the workplace. Right, Al? Uh, that's right, Tim. Get to, we'll get you a molding, then. Molding? Y yeah, the molding, Al. You know, when I'm molding, sometimes cutting in a miter, I get splinters at the end of my uh, wood. What would you do about that, Al? Oh, well, you, you want to take your tape and tape the, the front of the molding before you start your miter. Thank you, Al. No, uh, thank you, Tim. Hey, Al, do you suppose they call this molding because it's made out of stuff that's been in the refrigerator a little too long? <laughs> I don't think so, Tim. Finish that moving up on the first part of this. We'll cut that day. Hey, don't do that to me. What are you doing? Nothing. No, you're erasing Mom's name from the chart. I am not. Hard to. Why does it say J? Go red, go red. Better keep running. I got that garden hose. Hi ho, good neighbor. Hey, Wilson. What are you up to? Just painting a self-portrait. Yeah, of who? <laughs> well, Tim, I believe that would be of me. Yeah. Can I see what you got so far? Sure, neighbor. <sighs> hmm? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I got a question for you. Mine? Well, Tim, I would never give you the brush off. <sighs> Jill is trying to take over my garage. Mm, I see. A coup de garage. <laughs> she just doesn't understand. It's my garage. It's always been my garage. It's always going to be my garage. It's my zone. It'll never be her garage because it's mine, mine, mine. Ha, 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 ha. Well, Tim, men are territorial by nature. Yeah. When you describe the garage as yours, yours, yours. Jill's reaction is to protect herself from feeling unwelcome. Yeah, and I might have said something to make her feel unwelcome. Mm, like what? I told her to get out! <laughs> well, Tim, that could cause some friction. Yeah, friction. You have to understand, Tim, life for women is connections, a struggle to avoid isolation and preserve intimacy. Mm, intimacy. Mm -hmm. Bingo. Hmm? Intimacy. That's what it's all about. Wilson, you're always right. Uh, 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 Tim, Tim. Always is as dangerous a word as never. No, 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 no. This makes perfect sense. Jill put that potter's wheel in the garage to be near me to spend more time with me. Thanks, Wilson. <laughs> Listen, Jill. I think I understand... Good. No, 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 no. You didn't let me finish what I understand. Doesn't matter. If you understand something, that's enough for me. <laughs> I know why you put the potter's wheel in the garage. And why did I do that, Tim? It's your struggle to isolation to preserve friction. <laughs> what? It's all about intimacy. You just want to spend more time with me. No, Tim. Really? The reason I'm taking pottery is so I can get away from you. What? I need some time alone. This has anything to do with intimacy? No, I need some time and space to do something that I enjoy for myself, for me. I don't have to think about you and the kids. That's a fine how do you do. Mm -hmm. I always think about you. Oh, really? Even when you're watching football? Especially when I'm watching football. Yeah, I, I said I watch football. I'm always thinking, God, if Jill were here, she could get me another beer. <laughs> Face it, Tim. We both need time away from each other. And that's what this is all about. Yeah. And if we have the time away from each other, then we can appreciate the time that we do have together. Oh. Like now. Hmm? Kids are off at the park playing commandos. 
I noticed that somebody erased my name from the next hour on the garage timetable. It's just you and me. Got any ideas about what we could be doing? I'm getting one. <laughs> and what would that be? Work on the hot rod. Oh. Jill didn't want intimacy. Is that so? And you'll never guess what she really wanted. A little more time to herself? Huh? You see, Tim, as Khalil Gibran said, for the pillars of the temple stand apart, and the oak tree and the cypress grow not in each other's shadow. Ah, it's beautiful. Oh, yeah, it is. <laughs> I have no idea what you just said. <laughs> I just mean that occasionally it's healthy for you and Jill to be apart. Why didn't you say that in the first place? It just came to me. Sometimes it's not good to get me too early in the daytime. <laughs>